everybody. Mark the flicking feathers again today. Tying this wee black and green slapper. Uh, it's a, basically a variation on the Arthur McDonald style of flies. They're very, very fishy. They, they really work well. They're well worth having in your box, certainly. Um, and, you know, by changing the colour, they'll work all season long. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page. For anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, the monthly online tie in meetings that we're doing, and be entered into the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos. That is all appreciated. So I've got my hook, my vice. It's a size 12 B175. Um, you can tie these 10s into 14s. I, I think this pattern lends itself to the smaller sizes, really. But tie them to suit yourself. I've run on some black uni AO. And I've come down just past the point of the hook. I'm going to tie in my tail, which is... This is some teal dyed chartreuse. Um, Arthur generally ties these with bronze mallard, but I'm going for the colour here. So I've got, I don't know, maybe six fibres here, keep it nice and sparse. Just over a body length. There's plenty. A couple of wraps will hold that. Then we'll get my rib, which is just silver wire. Catch that in length of the body. Tidy up. Just got to add a wee teeny touch of taper. Come down sort of halfway then back. I'm going to take my rib. Full turn at the back to protect things, and then up. And, you know, just the sort of usual four or five will get you up. Bend and break the wire. And I've got a whip finish. Varnish this. It's a very thin varnish I'm using, it's very light, so it soaks in. Set that aside. Then just pick up the one that I did before. And this is just, you know, if you do them like that, you're always one in front and you've got no drying, you don't need to wait for the drying time. So I'll start my thread again, get some dubbing, and I'm using a stub, which is UV black. I'm just going to want a very small amount of this. Make a wee sort of thorax, maybe similar in size to you would if you were tying a cruncher. I'm going to get my teal again. Just got a wee bunch again, just maybe slightly heavier. I might have ten fibres here, and I'm going to tie it short, short of the tail. Maybe coming to about the back of the hook, so sort of halfway into the tail. Catch that in. And I'm 
haven't got, got a wee bit of deer here. Chartreuse belly here. Say, I don't know, I mean like half a dozen hairs. Maybe eight, you know, keep it very sparse. Clean it. Take away and it's too short. And offer this in, say two thirds or three quarters of the length of the teal. Trim away the waist. Come to the front, tidy up. And then, if you want to, you can put a wee bit of that ice stub. Then I need some jungle cock. I've just got to use a split feather. I want one that's fairly evenly split and the right size. Um, Got a lot of splits, but they're too big on this cape. There we go, you'll do it. Strip away any rubbish. Just encouraging this split. It's not a great feather actually, but I'll make it work. Put a wrap in. Grab the other side. Wrap in there. See how you're sitting, I quite like that. So tidy it up, fold these back. I broke at the wrong place here. feather there so I just need to come in with my scissor and cut that away. I always fold my, like to fold my jungle cock back if I've got space. Then head tackle, the black hen, Tie this hand by the tip. Couple of tons. Trim away the waist. And then I'm only going to put two or three tons on here. Keep it nice and sparse. Just fold it as you go. There's Turn. It will depend on your hackle. Um, I mean, you might decide two is enough. Which I 
which I think I am. Tie that off. Fold the waste piece back. Tie over it. And then whip finish. And then just hopefully break your hackle away, or you might need to cut it. But your fly's done. You put a varnish on the head, and you've got a lovely black and green slapper. It's a nice early season part on this. Um, as I say, you can change the colour, you, you know you can make it olives, you, midges, whatever, here's the year. And no fish or season lol. So I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines guys, bye.